Hi there, Jamie Keat here tonight at Teachers Tech. Hope everyone's having a fantastic night. Tonight we're going to take a quick look at Google's Google Calendar's new app feature, which is where you can let it set goals for you. So let's do a quick little walkthrough here tonight. So I'm using an Android device here, and I read a few comments on this update that some people were having difficulties with their iOS. Uh, maybe the updates weren't there yet, but on my Android device, it's working uh, fine here. So I'm just going to click on the plus, red plus, in the bottom right-hand corner, and there you can see the goal flag there. So I'm just going to click on that, and this kind of tells you um, what uh, your category you want to set your goal in. You know, is it an exercise go goal, or is it a, uh, do you want to build a skill, uh, like you want to learn to code or learn a new language? Do you want to connect more? with families or your family and friends? Do you want more me time? Uh, do you want to organize your life better? I'm just going to give an example here today with the exercise one. So I'm just going to click on exercise here uh, and you can see where it, uh, you have a choice of workout, run, walk, or do yoga, but you can customize this um, also. Uh, you can do uh, more. Uh, you can see a, lar a longer list right there too. So I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to choose workout here for the first one. And then you're prompted with how many times a week would you like to uh, work out? And I'll just pick three times for my example here and I'll put one hour and I'm going to say in the afternoon and I can customize this a little bit more here I'm going to change my color here I'm going to just change it to graphite hit save hit the check mark here and so what it's going to do now it's going to match my schedule with this where they think the best time is where it will fit in so it will find the opening uh, openings and kind of squeeze it into there so you can see uh, where it says workout there uh, in the graphite color it found a um, it found a spot right in between so you can see that's on tomorrow's April 16th and then if I kind of scroll through a few days, they put it uh, through on the 19th too. So it's pretty easy on my calendar here. I don't use this one to uh, schedule many things here. So they were able to put it anywhere else. But if you have a busy schedule, it will find the open uh, areas for you to put it in. And you can defer these too. So um, if you get to it and all of a sudden you can't, uh, if, you, if you don't feel like it or something comes up, you can just hit defer. And what's going to happen is it will move it to a different day for you here. So I'm just going to go over to my next day and I'm just going to refresh um, my uh, my screen here and it should pop uh, pop open here I was uh, it was moving slow a little bit before but there you go yeah I have a workout there so I moved it from uh, the Saturday to the Sunday here uh, the other thing you can do if you have a busy schedule if last minute things will come up it will move it uh, to a different time to accommodate your schedule um, also too uh, if you need to get rid of it just click on it and you can see um, right up the top hit the three little dots and then you can hit delete so you can get rid of the session or you can get rid of them all so if I click if I wanted to get rid of them all I would click that and then they're gone so that's just a little walkthrough of this new uh, feature remember this is on your app not on your Google uh, calendar part these events do show up in your Google calendar and you can edit them from them uh, from there but uh, the power of this is through the app is how it's going through your calendar and finding those opening openings to kind of squeeze in this stuff this won't go into your this same thing won't happen through your through your web-based one so I hope you like this little kind of walkthrough of the uh, new feature here if you did uh, please share it with a few people and remember I do weekly tech tips uh, and if you're interested please subscribe to my channel I'll talk to you next week.